Hello again. The Far North's most iconic spring racing carnival has begun with the 63rd annual Great Northern Cairns Amateurs Carnival back after two years. The event will continue over the next two days and is predicted to inject around $13.5 million into the local economy. Meanwhile, the Northern Pride coach is questioning why Cairns has missed out on the NRL finals action. That's all the news for now. I'll see you again soon. Good evening. A Townsville mother is battling border bureaucracy in a bid to bring her son home from New South Wales. Ten-year-old Nate Russell flew to Orange in June to visit his grandparents but got stuck when the state shut its border. And two teen boys aged 15 and 16, as well as a 26-year-old man, have been charged following a spate of crime targeting police. 27 degrees and partly cloudy in Townsville tomorrow. Hello again. Today is Are You OK Day and this year we're being reminded of the importance to check in on our loved ones, especially those that may be doing it tough. Meanwhile, Rockhampton will trial the first pop-up clinic at an Australian sporting event at the Eels and Knights Clash at Brown Park this Sunday. And from this weekend, local vaccine hubs will accept walk-ins. Sunny and 28 degrees tomorrow in Rockhampton. Good evening. A child linked to the Beanley COVID cluster has tested positive overnight. The 10-year-old was already in quarantine and authorities say it isn't a risk to the community. Meantime, Queensland has broken a new daily vaccination record. Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk says close to 24,000 people showed up for a jab yesterday. Sunny conditions in Caloundra tomorrow and a top of 27 in Noosa. Hello again. One new locally acquired case of COVID in the state overnight and it's the 10-year-old brother of the 4-year-old connected to the Beanley cluster but he was already in home quarantine and believed to be no risk to the community. To sport, the Fraser Flames will have another shot at securing a place in the Wide Bay Premier League Grand Final when they take on the Eagles this weekend. That's all the news for now. I'll see you again next hour.